Hello, Teddy here, and welcome to episode two of our little flipping series. Today, I'll be taking you through the flips I made from 2.3 mil to 6.1 mil. So that means I'm currently about 31% done with this little challenge. And this episode is probably going to be quite short. And the reason is because I just... Actually, I don't, I don't even know why I still have this in the script. It's not short at all. The script is five pages long. Y basically, I did a very overcomplicated way of tracking markets to show a point and make an example. I made a, a word spreadsheet uh, for, for the Trove Marketplace. If only I was this motivated towards real life. <gasps> oh, I'm dead. The point of the spreadsheet is to illustrate my rules for trading new markets in this game. Rule number one, never buy into a market heavy if you have not watched the market for at least a day already. Rule number two, always bet on history. And to flesh out those rules a bit more, rule number one is essentially to stop you from buying into a market while the price is inflated, especially since you have no knowledge of the prices before this moment. It may seem tempting tempting to just buy into a market if you see a, a massive deal, but a lot of the time, the deal is simply too good to be true. I always like to play it safe, wait, and not lose flux than to be hasty, and if I need a second opinion, typically I'll ask my club and they always have like good advice. But yeah, never invest without at least a little bit of history on your side. Always waiting a few days will typically give you a decent amount of insight into if the market is actually at a normal price or if it's inflated or deflated at that moment. Rule number two is more of the same. If you recognize a pattern, there's probably a reason for that pattern. As long as the devs don't completely change some in-game thing that makes that resource irrelevant all of a the sudden, then you can probably bet on that pattern again, at least in the short term. If there's a massive shift in the market, like some whale buys up the price, or people just stop farming that resource, simply avoid the market like the plague. Just don't buy into the market and just watch. Wait for it to settle, and if it settles again, uh, you can catch on to another pattern and then repeat that pattern. But yeah, the, the spreadsheet itself was just a collection of random items I chose to watch over an 11-day period, which was from October 25th to November 4th. The corresponding tables or trades I made were based on the data I collected. I had already recorded the prices for the uh, day prior to when I started to record, which I know in the bottom right corner it says the 25th but that's just because my sleeping schedule is absolute fucking dog shit. So I woke up at 11 p.m. So this is actually the 26th to me. I'm just time traveling casually. Anyways, yeah, I was still selling off the leftovers from the last episode at this time. This is the list of items that I chose to watch, and that's the spreadsheet, as you can see. And what you'll notice is I don't invest in most of them. I just chose many random items just to get a broad view of many items in the market. And I only played the ones that I felt were worth it. What you'll see is I don't really stray that far and start trying new markets until typically like day number five or six. First thing I decided to buy was a stack of tents, and yes, that is what I'm calling them, but this is a little example of an extra fail safe that I'll do, which is essentially, I've already talked about it in the last episode, but just try a small scale version of the trade you would be doing in mass just to see if it actually sells quickly. I saw them selling for 450 each, so I bought them and I sold them, or I listed them at 600 each. And the reason being is no one was selling tents in stacks that people would actually want to buy like no one's gonna buy a thousand tents to re-roll their new c4 staff you know like no one's gonna fucking do that shit people want to buy a lesser stack for more unit price i saw no one was listing at a reasonable uh stack size for the first two pages and i didn't pass that because the further back you go into the pages the less likely people are going to see your listing of course so i settled at around 600 each and i just put it in a stack of 50 to see how quick it sold the next little fun anecdote is somebody completely fucking destroyed the primal flame market and i don't know i i, I don't know how this is like possible literally I, I don't know if it's people just asserting their flux dominance or some shit it's entertaining at least, but it does show a good example of how quickly markets drop if you just buy it up really, really quickly. You know, if you look at my video from a month ago, Primal Flames were 50 each. Somebody four times that bitch. And it's just, I, I don't know how this is possible. This is some sussy shit right here. This is some sussy shit. I swear to God, it's those goddamn flux bots that you always see in the freaking hub. Those guys are fucking annoying, seriously. I, I, I've I ignored, like, hundreds of those guys. But another more reasonable example, like an example that's actually down to earth, um, you'll see is Celestial Diamonds. Like, Celestial Diamonds, if you look at the data from the 25th, 
Celestial Diamonds were 7,500 each, and now the very next day, they're at 4,000 each, which was the price they were at before. So markets correct themselves a lot. It's just based on how many people are selling and how many people actually need that resource. So there's a ton of variables that go into it. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go, you know, I got 50 mil flux or whatever, right? That's what I have on my main right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go assert some fucking, you know, I'm gonna drag my fucking I, I, I can't say that, censor that. I'm gonna go fucking buy up Primordial Flames. I'm gonna four times that bitch, right? Are you gonna be able to keep the price up? No, of course you're not. Of course you're not. It's just, no one's gonna buy a Primordial Flames for 200 each. Unless they're just fucking stupid, you know? The price is just gonna drop. It's just gonna fucking fly down because the people who are farming it are like, what the fuck? I used to sell it 50 each. I'll just sell it 100 each. That's freaking double. People are just gonna undercut you like a mother. But yeah, a mar any market is a self-correcting mechanism. So that's why I like to play with the market and I don't like to play against the market. I don't like to inflate the prices myself. If you double the price, you're just gonna have people undercutting you. But if you do decide to buy up a market, I wouldn't do it to an extreme degree. I'd do it like maybe five, 10% and that I wouldn't push it past that. But yeah, the tentacles I had bought, by the time I was done doing the spreadsheet, uh, they sold. So they sold in literally 15 minutes. Less than 15 minutes, actually. So I saw that as like a super opportunity. So I chose to buy the two stacks of tentacles I saw for 470 each. So I got 1,749 tentacles and I just started listing them at the same price that I was listing them at before. And I did today end up buying credits to fill my last market slots and I know you know, the reason is, it, basically the reason being was because I didn't have enough room in my club chest to put the flux out of my inventory. Like, I literally didn't have a way to make flux tanks without getting glim. So I would have to buy glim and then go to a club world somewhere, create the flux tanks, go back, and then put it at, like, I just didn't want to fucking do that, to be honest. And in the, in the spirit of cheap, keeping the challenge, you know, pure... You know, actually staying in the fucking club world and also just in the spirit of laziness. I just became a fucking pay piggy, you know, a simp for trove devs. You know how it is. We got it, you know. We we all simp, okay? Every now and then it just comes, it just hits you like a fucking, you know, it just happens. But I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything last episode, but do you guys really think I'm a consistent person by now? Like, look, <laughs> look at my fucking upload history. But either way, basically the rest of the day I just spent doing a shit on my other monitor and just slow like selling off the tentacles i bought and uh, i noticed over time as as i was experimenting with different stack sizes that actually stacks of 25 sell a lot quicker than 50. i don't think i tried any stacks of 10 but naturally the smaller the stack that you sell at the same unit price or at a reasonable unit price the quicker it's gonna sell of course so i like to find a sweet spot where it's like it's a small enough stack that it's selling quickly but like for example if i was to sell a stack of 50 in 30 minutes, if it takes 10 minutes to sell a stack of 25, in 30 minutes, I'm gonna sell 75 if I just put them in stacks of 25. Like that's, I like to experiment with it, and the one that I found that was the best was stacks of 25. So if you're trading tentacles, um, there you go. Man, the next morning I woke up to my entire market sold. Great feeling, by the way. Y'all wouldn't know it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. But anyways, it's kind of uh, cool because I ended up pretty much exactly where I started. So all the flux that I'm getting from these listings is just pure profit. And by the end of it, I was at 2.5 mil. The first thing I did buy in mass today was Nitro, which I'm pretty sure this was Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday. I'll just overlay if it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday, we're gonna go with that. But I, I bought these before I even looked at my spreadsheet because I have I traded the Nitro market enough to actually know that it's just a completely safe market. Like it's not like, you're not gonna lose anything unless it's like a freak thing is happening, which there's actually an example of that in this video. What happens is that on gathering day, people are all thinking the same thing. They're like, okay, the price is gonna be the lowest on gathering day, right? That's just common sense. So people don't list it on gathering day, they wait until the day after gathering day or the day after that, and then they'll start listing it. So on Wednesday and Thursday, the price will actually go down because the market will just get flooded and people, you know, get uh, annoyed at waiting. So they just sell it off. They just want to get their flux. It's like, you know, it's stupid, but it gives a great opportunity for me. It, it's honestly better if you're mining nitro to just sell it on gathering day. Like you're probably gonna make more than if you sold it on Wednesday or Thursday. This week, nitro started acting weird. And I think what happened is people just basically stopped mining nitro. And that's probably just because of the Halloween event. Like people just started doing fucking pumpkins instead. Save 
But for the previous few weeks, I it had always settled at around 170, and it never got above like 165 uh, this week. So people just essentially just weren't buying it. Wait, that doesn't even make any sense. If okay, if 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 no one's mining it, no, maybe no one's buying it. Basically, Halloween. Okay, that's what happened. Basically, but yeah, at this time, uh, I saw people. What the fuck was I gonna say? Either way, I decided to do this trade this week when I saw stacks for 160 each. Uh, I was only able to buy one stack at the time, so the profit isn't going to be amazing. But I just started selling at 170 each and stacks of a thousand. Pretty much in 30 minutes, the majority of the stack had already sold. Basically, I just filled out my spreadsheet while I was waiting. But yeah, after I came back about an hour after uh, buying, I got back onto this account. All the nitro had sold. So it all, like, I sold a thousand nitro in an hour. Like, it's really easy. What you have to keep in mind is I'm selling it well above the normal price. Like, I'm selling it at 167 each when it's normally at 160 each. Uh, but since it sold so quick, I just bought another one, which actually was sadly the only one left at this time. And after four hours off the account, that stack sold. You know, which uh, obviously it didn't take four hours. I was just off the account for four hours. But the next thing I did, I decided to try sunlight bulbs. I don't know why. I wasn't even tracking sunlight bulbs. I just, I just decided to buy sunlight bulbs. The reason I chose not to do sunlight bulbs in this challenge was because I had already seen that like someone always buys up sunlight bulbs. They're always at around 16 each or 18 each. Someone always buys them up. Because I'll see listings for like 14, 13, 12, and then the next day it'll be 18. So people, like, I don't know who's buying it up, but somebody does. But yeah, after another two hours... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I bought I bought another stack. Okay, yeah. Dude, I wrote this script horribly. What the... F yeah, I bought another stack, and after two hours, they all sold. Uh, none of the sunlight bulbs did, though, so I started playing around with the price and the stack sizes. And then they actually started to sell, but again, it was very slow. So honestly, like, sunlight bulbs kind of suck ass, like, just saying. More tentacles since they went so well yesterday. So I bought a stack of 250 tent for uh, 448 each. I bought another stack of 200 I saw at 400 each and got off the account. I came back to the entire market sold, relisted, and basically at this point, I had caught on to a pattern that worked and I just kept repeating this pattern with tentacles over and over and over because I didn't see any like really remarkable change in the market to make me not uh, invest in this or not feel safe in this investment. And if you look at tentacles a week or two later, on the 9th, they were at 490 each now, and they they gradually went up. But if you look at the pages, uh, if you shift over on the pages, it takes four pages to get to where they're even listed at 600 each, which is compared to when I started trading it, it was only on page two that they started to hit 600 each. So there was a pretty big change in this market. And what I'm guessing is just someone started, someone either caught on to what I was doing and did the same thing, or they just started doing it on their own. So you kind of have to wait for other people to stop trading that market, or you have to look for a market that people aren't caught on to yet. But yeah, I got on in the morning and all the items I had sold and I was at three mil flux. And while I was filling out the spreadsheet, I basically just bought into tentacles again because the pattern worked. And the thing I noticed uh, the most while I was looking through the thing was Bardium, which Bardium dropped to around... <laughs> oh, fucking shit. God damn. That fucking came out of nowhere. <laughs> Sheesh. God damn, boy. It's like, it's 5 a.m. I need to stop shouting. Anyways, Bardium dropped to around 2k each, and I was very tempted to buy it. And if I did buy it, I definitely would have made some profit off of this, but I just didn't really feel safe in the investment because uh, I didn't know how quick they sold, and honestly, I didn't know how much, like how, like how needed is Bardium really? Like, do you just use it for the Bard? Like what, I don't even know what the fuck it's really used for. So like what, I just didn't buy it because I just didn't feel confident enough in it. So that's like a great example. Even though I saw it go down, I decided to not invest and simply gather more information on that market than to buy and regret it later. Like with trading, I always play it safe. I always like to play it safe. I'd rather cash out early, get at least some profit than to wait till the last minute and end up losing money when it crashes. Like that's just how I like to trade. You can choose to play a risky, you'll probably make more, but I don't 
like to do that. I like to play with the market and not go to extremes or whatever. And yes, there's always going to be a chance that like the market will just randomly like blow up, which is basically crypto. Like people just will put a ton of money into a ton of cryptos and just hope to God. And that's not like, that's not a fucking strategy. Like what the fuck is that? Like if, if, if it does blow up, you didn't really learn anything. You know, like crypto, that do cryptos actually have any value? You know, other than like Bitcoin, like the most popular ones. And that, and, and those two, they only really have value because of their notoriety. Like why the fuck would you buy a crypto? Don't, don't just like, don't just like buy into something just because there's a chance that it may blow up. Use some evidence. Like think about why you're buying it. Like did you actually learn anything if you bought into something and it just randomly blew up? You know? Like, are you gonna make better trades in the future? Or did you just, like, maybe have some information that a lot of people weren't privy to? Basically, elites. Uh, don't tell them I said that, though. Don't tell them I- uh, No, they're all geniuses, and you should all listen- You should listen to them. It's not just a bunch of fucking insider trading. You don't have any evidence of that. Whoa! Whoa, how does- How does fucking this guy have seven billion dollars or whatever? I don't know. Just got lucky, I guess. Oh, it's just really smart. Somebody's like, hit, taps him on the shoulder, motherfucker, join our club and we'll give you a bunch of fucking money. How do you think they get the money, bro? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm saying too much. Like, this is a fucking block game video. This is a tro- There's probably like 12 year olds watching this video. What the fuck am I saying? This video is gonna be like 30 minutes because I keep fucking rambling, but this shit is- I can't cut this out. I can't. I'm talking like Trump. Like, I'm doing the hand signs and everything. Like, you know how he like moves his hands and shit? I'm, I'm literally doing that right now. I, I, I could probably be a president if I wanted to, because I'm just such a fucking, I, I'm so goddamn charismatic, honestly, like, holy fucking shit, dude, I should just fucking, I should just go to fucking be an actor or something, come on, <sighs> calm down, calm down, I gotta lower the fucking ego, <laughs> bring the ego down, oh, that's not fucking possible, anyways, yeah, the first trade I did today was just a Golden Souls flip, I, I bought two stacks of Golden Souls for 100 each, which obviously, looking at the data, is a safe buy or whatever. But if you're if you're if you're flipping golden souls, always sell them in stacks of ten. That's the stack size that will sell the quickest. The next thing I did was I bought around 900 tenths for 324 each. Crazy lucky deal. And the rest of the day was just selling off those tentacles and golden souls. So kind of an uneventful day. And the next few days are going to be kind of uneventful, but that's just the nature of flipping. I sold all the leftover 10 to overnight. So I ended up at around 3.4 mil. And the first deal I did today was Nitro at 158 each. I bought both of these stacks and I listed them for, you know, obviously stacks of a thousand because that's the stacks that I've found sell the quickest. Literally the entire stack sold in like 50 minutes. And it was probably quicker than that. That's just when I got back on. I then did the market tracking for today. The purchases I made were Tent and Pearls. I definitely got somewhat lucky this week because for some reason, just, I don't know why, but people just kept selling Tent for less than 400. And when I started, like the first trade that I made was 470 each. Like that's the first Tentacles I bought was at 470. I thought that was a good deal, but it turns out people just keep selling it for like 400 less. I don't understand, or like 100 does. It doesn't make any sense. I got two stacks actually for 370 each. So like literally I was just getting given this challenge at this point, but the pearls I saw were at 850 each for a stack of 1000, which if you look at my data for the past few days, there's no fucking way I'm not going to be able to make this profit back. And by the way, if you're wondering about pearls, sell them in stacks of 10 or maybe like stacks of 12 or something, because when people get their crystal gear, I'm pretty sure it takes like 12 pearls to just put all the pearls onto a crystal weapon or whatever. I normally do stacks of 10. I don't know. I just I just do 10. But the last clip thing of the day, uh, I just reinvested into tentacles again uh, for a stack of 741 for 390 each. The next day, I literally just checked the markets and sold off shit, um, and I didn't do anything else. But this is a good example. This is basic. This is literally just pretty much AFK flux. I p caught onto a pattern with tentacles and also nitro. And I just kept playing that pattern over and over and over. It's literally just mindless shit. All you have to do is catch on to the first pattern and it's just easy floating from there. Literally the only clip I have saved is I just tracked markets and I didn't, I literally just didn't do anything else today. And as you could tell, I just kind of stopped giving a single shit. I was probably just preoccupied with my main account, but on November, the first of November, I did come back to this challenge. Look at Steedfeed. Some, like, again, this is some sussy shit right here. This is some sussy ass shit right here. What the fuck is this, man? They went from 120 each 
to 300 each. Like, I swear to God, these goddamn flux bots, they're, it's, it's literally, this is literally just inflation in Trove, just like real life. Like, we, we have a bubble right now in the Trove market, in the Trove marketplace. Dude, block game is about to have an economic crash, for real. That you need this is scary. This is scary shit right here. The first thing I did was I bought into a radiant power cell. Pause. I lied. I actually did this first. This is actually the first thing I did. This day I realized that those things are used to make the Sunderguard cache keys. And I also realized that uh there's these things called ships, which are like an amazing EXP farm. So people do those all the fucking time. And like to get the keys to open the chest from the boss room which basically nobody does anyways but you know some people do it i guess you need these irradiant fucking cachet or whatever the fuck they're called so i figured you know i, I, might, I might as well see how quick they sell so i decided to try it I, I don't know why but someone kept putting them up for stacks of 700 each and then i got 402 for 659 each so yeah i mean basically i don't even know what to say like is there any real strategy there? There's not. That was just pure fucking luck. I listed those things overnight in stacks of 150 each, and I ended, uh, or I got on the next morning, and I was at around like five mil once all I, I collected all that shit. But the next day, uh, while I was tracking markets, I noticed that forge fragments were at a decent price. They were being sold at 300 each, which is pretty much right in the middle of the range. I had seen them go back and forth in between. Uh, over my data for the past like five or six days or whatever it is i didn't list them immediately i was just gonna hold on to them and wait because i figured i'd be able to you know get them to sell again for 300 pretty easily so i figured i was safe holding on to them i didn't have to sell them immediately to make my, my money back so i just went back to tracking the markets and a little look into the past by the way if you remember those primordial flames i mentioned at the beginning where someone bought them up to 200 each uh on the 26th so that was october 26th well seven days later an exact week later the price is at 100 each and if you look at the data of the past few days they were at like it's consistently stayed at 90 each so somebody bought it up to 200 and then the market halved it in literally like a day and it stayed there the whole fucking time so if you're trying to four times a market like good luck bitch i bought two stacks of cinnabar for 50 each as well as i reinvested into nitro again uh, which i bought these three stacks at 155 each and this was Wednesday, so it does make sense why that would happen. But I was kind of getting worried because the pattern I had noticed before was that every week Nitro would go up to 170 each. And this week it didn't go up to 170. It actually hovered around 160 according to my data. So like, I don't know what exactly happened here. I think, I legitimately think it was just because people were distracted with the Halloween event. But... As of writing this, which is around like the 13th, the 15th, around there, Nitro's at 180 each. So it just kept going up and up and up. I don't know what happened. People just stopped farming it and people like the the the, the demand just went down a time. I don't know. It's whatever. But I still felt confident in my ability to sell Nitro because I had already done it like the previous few days. I sold all the Nitro and that put me at just above 5 mil. Uh, but do keep in mind that I still have those forge fragments to sell. So I probably made like a few hundred thousand off of that nitro. I don't know how much I made exactly, but whatever. Uh, I bought another 1,100 forge fragments. So I'm at around 2,000 forge fragments that I still need to sell right now. And I started listing them in stacks of 100 and 200 to see which ones sold quicker. And of course, as logic would state, the smaller stacks sold quicker. Uh, so... I started listing them all in stacks of 100 instead of putting 200 down. All of the uh, Forge Fragments sold in 28 minutes. But basically, I just reinvested in Nitro again because people were selling at 155 each. About 30k more uh, because, again, people were selling at 155 each. And I think someone actually caught on to what I was doing. And they got annoyed at me because I was undercutting them or something. So they started listing for stacks of 166 each at 165 each so i basically just played along with him and i just did stacks of 666 at 166 each so i didn't i didn't undercut him but since he was selling at stacks of a thousand each 
uh, the lowest option for anything less than a thousand nitro is my stacks at 166 each so i wasn't in competition with him really i was just playing along with him every time that a stack for 666 sold i just relisted a stack of 1000 and over time they all sold and his all got bought out too so again i was back to the only one trading uh, nitro at that price so that's an example you know like you don't have to you don't have to undercut a bitch you know what i'm saying like, you, you don't have to be, like, so aggressive and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'll, by, the, by the end of the day, I sold all the nitro and I was at 5.7 mil. The last three days, honestly, like, I'm gonna try to, like, go through them quickly. Because, like, YouTube, like, can you, like, not, you know? Like, can you not? Seriously? Tracking markets, forge fragments, tents, forge fragments, meat, meat. Nice. Tracking market, but the spreadsheet got too big. So, I have it on the other monitor. Cinnabar, meat, meat, nice. I didn't even track markets on the 5th, but, um, you know, Cinnabar, Cinnabar, Cinnabar. And that's pretty much it. I ended at around 1.6 mil. So, as you can see, if I really wanted to, like, if I wanted to, but the past three days were basically just me fucking around. I didn't really do anything in the past three days, and I spent two of the days during the challenge not buying anything, but just selling stuff off and just keeping track of shit. So... I could have made, like, probably up to seven and a half to eight mil if I really wanted to, but, like, dude, like, fuck this, right? Like, honestly, like, honestly, like, I'm just done with this script at this point.